Hi, today it's not a tutorial, it's more like letting you watch how I use Notescapes and how I create a landscape with Notescapes. So let's just open this up, click on new, go to our Notescapes tab over here and I have created for myself a base start preset where I'm starting to work with it and I will share that on the Discord server of course and if you have Notescapes or True Terrain and are not a member of the Discord server I really encourage you to join because you get a very nice community and the support from the developers is just stellar. So what am I doing? So first of all what have we here? You can easily create this yourself from the object start, I use smooth, UVs are important for true terrain afterwards, but I'm going to do um, a smart UV project afterwards, so no use creating a UV map here. I have created a size 8x6 and a sub E level of 65, which we will increase afterwards, but for working with it, that's what I go for. I have mixed here two different nodes, nodes one rigid multifractal and one turbulence, added multiplier nodes behind them because that gives me the opportunity to change the height of my terrain and right now it's only set to the first, the second one is this one going to show you afterwards how I'm going to mix this and because I hate open geometry like this in my terrain I've added an edge fade node where I can play with um, or create a flat floor so like going in here and give it a real big juicy top in here I'm working over here on making I use the split radial and so I'm using it like this yeah something like this and the radius over here like this the fall off is fine or we can use it like so so I've got a terrain on a flat floor, which I always like. And then let's go back and play with the rigid multi first. So the first thing is I have too much geometry in here, so I'm reducing the scale like so. And as this is too thin now, I'm matching the Y scale as well, something like this, a little bit bigger, okay, and the noise intensity, as you can see, if I'm decreasing that, it gets more pointy, but I want to do this later, so I usually don't mess with that, so like 0.9 is good enough for me and the noise scale is important too because the lower I get the rounder the the more simpler it gets so something like three or four is usually good enough for me yeah something like this noise detail I'm not seeing a lot of that but uh, change but you usually go with a higher number and the sea level is something which I definitely encourage you to play with because uh, okay that's too fast you can create pretty cool geometry just by yeah I think we'll we'll keep that and the gain is something where small details get pushed upwards. So 
want to be careful with that as well. So four usually works for me fine. So let's see how if we mix this with I'll just go in here and now take a look at the what we can do with the turbulence. Again, I'm changing the scale. Make this like so. Like this. It's totally up to you, of course. Again, the noise detail, bump, bumping it up. And amplitude. No, 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 no. We'll keep that as is. And the frequency, yeah, it just repeats the geometry mesh structure or whatever. I'll, I'll just keep it as it is. Okay, so and give it a little bit of height, something like this. And then play with the mix again. Yeah. It looks good. And then afterwards, what I do is I play around with the seed because just clicking that your geometry stays the same you see the values or the input stay the same but you can create so brilliant different settings you can play with the angle a bit As I said, it is always, let's just go with five steps. This looks good. And maybe do a clamp on this one. Yes. Oh, that's nice. We've got a nice valley. We can, that, yeah, I think this is something we can use. Um, yeah, I'm forcing myself to stop here and um, save this, the clamp on this one, yes. Oh, that's nice, we've got a nice valley, we can, that, yeah, I think, take a new one, go to valley, execute. And there it is again. Okay, I don't know if there was anything useful for you in there. Uh, yeah, there's something I sometimes do as well. If I think that those sides of the mountains are too, too flat, I'm adding an hydraulic erosion node. As you can see, this gives me a little bit more geometry in here. You can play with those numbers as well, of course. But I think, yeah, we're gonna take this. Thanks for watching and I will take this. So let's save that. Overwrite, go to Valley. And we've got the hydraulic erosion node in there as well. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how I use True Terrain to to texture that. Okay, see you later.